Hello there, welcome to another episode of World of Warships from Gainey Titan. Uh, this is probably the best game I've had so far. I've, um, at the time of recording this, which is, um, what, Monday? Um, so it'll be out tomorrow, so Tuesday, it'll be out the following day. And uh, this is, I uh, 35 battles in World of Warships. I do think my understanding of the game is a lot more sophisticated than it was the similar situation in World of Tanks. In World of Tanks, basically at this stage, I hadn't a clue uh, what I was doing. I, mean, I knew I hadn't a clue what I was doing. I mean, I knew the, kind of the basics of the game. But I knew nothing about um, the crew skills or armor angling or the effectiveness of the different rounds, premium rounds, any of that kind of stuff was uh, completely beyond me. I'd say I'd be at around the level that I was probably four or 5,000 battles into World of Tanks. Because I went into World of Tanks and I just played the game. I didn't... Um, it never occurred to me to go to YouTube and watch videos and things like that. In my day, you learned how to play games by playing the games. Occasionally you might get a magazine article which might give you tips and tricks on playing a particular game if the game was very popular um, and you knew you knew about it, or something like that. But a lot of the time, you learned um, more or less by doing it. I mean, yeah, there were bulletin boards and stuff like that, but I generally didn't bother with those. And um, the idea of watching YouTube videos, people playing games for entertainment, was uh, completely alien. And I really hadn't, I mean, I'd seen my nephews watching YouTube videos like that, but I never really partook of it myself. And um, so I'd started playing World of Tanks and I was playing it for quite some time. And it was only when I had actually spent quite a bit of time trying to improve on my own efforts, uh, my own watching, trying to remember what I was doing and the excitement of the game, and analysing what I was doing and trying to think about it afterwards, that, um, that somebody suggested I should watch replays. Uh, my own and other people's and this would greatly improve my game So I went off then and started watching um, Replays and started discovering about a whole bunch of stuff that I had no knowledge of whatsoever now World of Warships is different in the sense that I've come into it having already watched quite a few videos although that said I think watching videos after playing the game are probably more informative than watching videos when you've played nothing of the game because uh, first of all I think you pay more attention to the videos when you actually know something about the game mechanics and the more you understand the kind of the more things that you spot uh, whereas uh, a lot of things happen in a World Warships video even in spite of the commentary that uh, I would be unaware of simply because I hadn't played the game and um, but it's still it's a massive leg up. It's a big advantage over comparing to the position I was when I went into uh, World of Tanks first time. Now, I've, one of the things I discovered playing World of Warships is that uh, pink. The icon up there on top is pink. He's done team damage. And uh, that's very easy to do team damage. So you want to be really careful about firing into uh, a melee. And... I've also moved up to tier two, but I don't think I'll be. I think I'm going to be going back and forth between maybe two, three, and two, one, two, and three. Probably I might dip my toe into tier three shortly, but I don't see myself going higher. I see myself going back and forth on the low tiers for quite a while because I still have problems with some of the fundamentals of the game, like steering my ship while I'm shooting. So all the problems I have, that's one of the bigger ones, steering the ship while I'm shooting, making sure that I'm actually heading in a sensible direction, and that I'm not doing something monumentally stupid, like driving out into the middle of open sea in front of a dozen enemy cruisers or that sort of stuff, um, which can sometimes happen to me purely by accident, because loss of situational awareness, or not having sufficient situational awareness at the beginning. I seem to be completely unable to make significant use of uh, islands in comparison to what I've seen other people doing on um, in games on YouTube but I seem to be very difficult or have a very difficult time doing it I also have problems with the accuracy of the gunnery um, this is 
big issue as well. Um, I'm okay as when I'm trying to. Was I'm okay going forward or something like that? Like if I um, if it's just me one on one with another ship, I'm probably not too bad. But the um, when you start bringing in other ships into account, and when you get up to the higher tier, up to tier two, like you have destroyers in the mix and you have torpedoes in the water, and they're a real problem, especially since um, you have no means of detecting these torpedoes other than when they're spotted. They're spotted awfully close to your ship. But I need to also, I think, recognize behaviors like things destroyers do when they're launching torpedoes and stuff like that. And a lot of that stuff is completely uh, beyond me at the moment. Uh, I think one of the latter games that I had there, I um, spotted a destroyer and I realized that, hang on, he's not moving. Why is he not moving? And then he resumes moving and I start firing at him. And I'd already sunk another destroyer. Now, he hadn't torpedoed me because I think he was going dead straight towards me and I was going dead straight towards him. And he just had the angle to launch his torpedo tubes, whereas and he didn't want to show me his broadside because uh, he didn't have a lot of help left and I'd sink him. Whereas the other guy uh, was showing me his broadside, but was starting to accelerate away and he was showing me his broadside so that I would keep shooting at him and not spot the damn torpedoes that were coming in um, on the other side of my ship because he just basically crossed my bows. So he launched torpedoes when he was on my port side and he's racing away on my starboard and that's right or left and right and uh, I'm shooting away at him the next thing I take two torpedoes into the bow of the ship and that's it it's all over um, so remembering where people are steering the ship in an appropriate direction keeping an eye out of what um, what's going on um, tier one it's kind of tricky but you'll figure it out the only thing about tier one is that it's only one or two maps i think it's two maps is all i seem to get there's just uh, one or two maps and that's it and that gets kind of boring whereas tier three you have the full variety of ships and um, i don't know if i've even seen all the maps yet but it's an awful lot more tricky because you have you know, destroyers are brought into the game and there's usually quite a few destroyers in the game and uh, battleships are in the game and well there's the cruisers and you also have the option of um, what do you call it? armor piercing and high explosive ammunition you have um, some uh, consumables and I haven't really got into the business of exploring consumables yet either but I've already reached the point where I can mount flags, I can have consumables, and um, I have like a three or four point captain now on one of my ships. And I've, um, I'm only guessing as to what skills are useful and things like that as well. Um, it does kind of tell you what skills are of no use to you. So there, I lost track of the last enemy ship, and then he pops up behind an island and just finishes me off. It's also irritating that the replay file doesn't capture the in-screen and I have to capture that separately. So we got 73 target hits, 70 penetrations, 3 non-penetrating, uh, 3 incapacities, I think that's destroying modules. 5 destroyed, so that gives me a crack at a niche to set fire to 8. I did what, 4 hits to Citadel? They seem to be important and we got the crack at uh, destroyed 5 more enemy ships. We also got uh, First Blood, so we sank the first uh, enemy ship in action, and we got a high caliber, which damaged these four ships. Damage must exceed 30% of the HP capacity of all the enemy fleet. Um, I presume if you've done that, though, and there's only one per game, that you also probably done the most damage at that given game. I came number one by experience in my team, and there's a considerable difference as well, it seems to me, between winning and losing XP. Definitely still a newbie in this game, uh, still fairly clueless about a lot of the subtleties of the game. However, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please give it a like if you have not already done so. Uh, please give the channel a subscription, I will catch you all again soon, bye for now.